Okay, folks, we have returned, and let's start out in case 55. This is the first one in the final district before we get to the conspiracy. The new truth. We can show the with criminally negligent homicide and the death of Brenda. And you fell on What about manslaughter? Six months earlier. Paul Jim makes two phone calls. They find out he's not a doctor. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor and privilege to stand before you as the new mayor of Concordia. The tragic murder of my predecessor has shown us anything. It's that this city has been mired in corruption and lawlessness for too long. My inauguration today marks the dawn of a new era, an era of peace, of prosperity, and most of all, of justice. And I pledge to you everything, everything in my power to ensure we uphold the laws of the land for the betterment of all. Which is why my first action of, as mayor will be to invoke a state of emergency across Concordia so that every citizen is safe. As mayor, the state of emergency will also give me the power to stop the filthy lies that infiltrate our brains through the newspapers we read by abolishing freedom of the press. From now on, there will be only one newspaper in Concordia. I've called it the New Truth, and as its name suggests, it will only contain information that is true and just. Today, ladies and gentlemen, you have witnessed history in the making. Here's to a new better and better future for us and for our children. Long live Concordia. Matthew, when we first met Justin Lawson, I never thought that he'd eventually become mayor and start ruling Concordia with an iron fist. It's been six months since Lawson came into power and his quest for justice has become nothing short of fanatical. His first act is to abolish the free press. Now we have a single newspaper called The New Truth, which is little more than a mouthpiece for Lawson and his regime. Furthermore, he has also instated his own militia, the so-called Justice Corps. Lawson initially claimed that the Justice Corps was necessary to restore law and order to Concordia, but now people live in fear of them, Matthew. Yes, with Justin Lawson's backing, the Justice Corps has been arresting anyone who dares to speak out against the regime. Even the police force has to report to the Justice Corps now. We're little more than their puppets. As for the flying squad, we're in a difficult situation. I have no desire to serve Justin Lawson, but if we get shut down, his rule over Concordia will be absolute. As such, I believe we must make him think we are following his orders, whilst protecting the people as much as we can. Yes, the last thing we need is Lawson coming after the flying squad, especially while my darling wife is in her current condition. Nonsense, Charlie. I'm eight months pregnant, not incompetent. Now, I know we're supposed to be on our best behavior, but I hope nobody's expecting me to stop doing my job. Anyway, Matthew, it's time for that buy for that blasted Daily Patrol Lawson insists on. Let us take to the streets. Oh my! Please tell me that's not. I don't think that's Justin Lawson, is it? Oh, that wasn't a clue. Darn it! I just wasted. Wait, that was a clue. Why did it not? Let me pick it up. Oh, that was unfortunate.
Your Honor, my clients don't want to belabor this matter without admitting any specific wrongdoing. Matthew, that that's Judge Takakura. It looks like he was beaten to death. Just who would do such a thing? All those times Judge Takakura mentioned wanting to move to the Bahamas to retire, and instead this is what he gets. You two, don't move. I'm Inspector Gilbert from the Justice Corps. What are you doing next to that body? I'm Detective O'Malley, and this is Senior Trooper Matthew from the Flying Squad, and we're here to investigate this murder. The Flying Squad? Well, I shall need to ask you some questions. We shall be with you as soon as we finish investigating the crime scene, Inspector Gilbert. Goodness, Matthew, I do hope we're not in trouble with the Justice Corps. But I see you managed to keep your wits about you. Those pieces of metal are covered in blood. They shall need putting back together if they're to provide us with a lead. Matthew, the death of Judge Takakura is all the bigger a blow under this new dictatorial regime. We owe it to him to find his killer. Wow. I would never have guessed it was Judge Takakura who was our newest victim. But anyway, I will get the rest of the stars, and I will see you all then. Hold on, folks. Ceremony all day a parade. It looks like I don't have my camera on, so that's okay. I'll examine the metal pieces first. Okay. Matthew, this bloodstained trinket it seems to be part of a keychain. And look, the chain has been snapped as though it was torn off during the struggle. If the blood is Takakura's, this keychain must have been broken during the murder. Let's get it to Viola right away. So you say you're from the Flying Squad and that you're investigating a murder, Senior Trooper Matthew. Who is the individual in question? Mr. Satoshi Takakura, but you may have known him as Judge Tak. Quite! Mayor Lawson spoke very highly of Judge Takakura. His dedication to justice appears to have been a veritable asset to, his, to the regime. I must inform Mayor Lawson of his murder at once, Senior Trooper Matthew, and rest assured, I'll be keeping a very close eye on your investigation. Interference from the Justice Corps is the last thing we need for to solve Takakura's murder, Matthew. But you're right. If we're to stay one step ahead of them, our next stop should be Takakura's home. It's only a few yards from where he was murdered. Please disregard this noise. This is not to be questioned about. It's my local news. Now 
and I will be speeding up both things if need be. And in fact, I probably will be. And in fact, I will be speeding up the autopsy. That's for sure because I got started on this a lot later than usual. Here we go. Don't know why I'm scared. I honestly do not know why my website is off. Nice catch, Matthew. This briefcase clearly belonged to Takakura. If you can crack that lock, the contents might prove destructive. But why did you pick up that mustache comb? Oh, good point. Takakura didn't have a mustache, so somebody else must have dropped this comb here. I'll let you recover the fingerprints. Hey, Joe, can only really guarantee they'll all be there on stage. They'll also be playing with a new sense of the impact the trio has on their fans. It started with one thread where somebody posted their experience with La Fla Fly um, how many over years ago. And then another person did it, and another person did it. I'll do everything now. And when I get all the stars, I will speed things up. Let's see if we can find a match for the fingerprints on that mustache comb in our registry, Matthew. Beautiful, beautiful. Sunday's Napa Lapa Lai reunion is sold out. Tickets, though, to Kawana Taurus at Taurus Kahele's Friday and Saturday shows still available at the Hawaii Inn. And just for the record, while some of us are dealing with the fingerprints, Oscar Trefusis. So according to our files, the fingerprints on the mustache comb belong to a Mr. Oscar Trefusis. Matthew, why did that name ring a bell? Dash my wig, you're right. We encounter Mr. Trefusis in New Haven. He was that brute who was mistreating his household staff. And according to this, Mr. Trefusis now resides in the house next to Takakura. We will speak to him about his relationship with the victim. So with Takakura dead now, who will be the new judge? Kelly presents Kuwana's Winter Wonderland at the Hawaii Theater, December 8, 9, and 10. Let's talk to Mr. Trefusis. Senior Trooper Matthew, I thought I'd seen the last of you in New Haven. If you're here about my past misdemeanors, I can assure you that's all behind me. I'm even on good terms with the judge next door. You had a good relationship with Judge Takakura, you say? Yes. It was a stroke of luck moving in next door to a judge. It pays to have friends in justice during these troubled times. Well, he shan't be of much use to you now, Mr. Trefusis. Judge Takakura was murdered earlier today, just a few yards from his home. Murdered? Goodness gracious! Well, I do hope the shan't have an impact on the house pr on house prices in the neighborhood. Anyhow, if you'll excuse me, Senior Trooper Matthew, there's a beef and stout pie with my name on it just waiting to be eaten. Well, there's the first 
first one. Seven, three, seven, six, six. Six, seven, three, four, six. Matthew unlocked Takakura's briefcase, Matthew. Let us take a look through the contents. Two students killed in a shooting at a high school in New Mexico. Students took cover as gunshots ran out at about 8 in the morning on the Judge Takakura's photo. What's that photo you found in Takakura's briefcase, Matthew? That's definitely a younger Takakura in the picture. He's with a lady friend, and there's a message on the photo. Satoshi, remember the summer of 69? Okay, now the camera's back on. And the Yuri who signed the message must be the woman in the photo, Matthew. Clearly, she and Takakura must have known each other for some time. We had better inform Yuri of his death. Yuri Ishida. This is Shida. We'd like to ask you about your relationship with Satoshi Takakura. We gather you were close. Oh, Satoshi and I are the best of friends. Have been since we were kids. Wait, you asked if we were close. Does that mean... Yes, we're afraid Judge Takakura has been murdered. Satoshi's dead? Shame on you for springing such news on me at my old age. Don't you know the shock could kill me, Senior Tripper Matthew? I feel positively faint. We apologize, Mrs. Shida. Please take some time to compose yourself. We may wish to speak with you again later. Not the taxpayers. Taxpayers have a right to this transparency and accountability. This week, two male members of Congress resigning after being held accountable for their own harassment claims. Michigan Congressman John Conyers and And I'll let, and I'll let this run, of course. But I'll see you when but I'll be speeding this up when Senator I get all the stars. We'll see you all then. Well, we're back now and we're gonna get the results of the keychain. I am devastated to hear of Judge Takakura's murder, Matthew. Six months ago, Justin Lawson promised peace on our streets, but here's a public official beaten to death in broad daylight. It is clear that what Lawson promised him that what Lawson promised and what he delivered are two very different things, Viola. But for now, we must focus on finding Takakura's killer. Quite. The blood on this keychain was indeed Takakura's, Matthew, but did confirm that he had his keys still attached to his keychain on his person when he died. So this keychain must have belonged to our killer. Indeed, and I can tell you that this particular keychain is only available as a gift for regular readers of the New Truth newspaper. You have to collect 10 coupons before you can claim it. The New Truth? Almost everybody reads it since Lost had abolished the free press. But our killer must be one of the few people who actually enjoys it. You're right. I suppose we have to take whatever clues we can get, Matthew. Let's get looking for this killer who reads the new truth.
back to an eight point ball game and still plenty of touchdown left for Arkansas Pine Bluff. They are within. I believe I remember the last time it was five. This isn't the typical Hawaii Arkansas Pine Bluff game. In most years, it has been very lopsided in favor of Hawaii. They have never lost to the Golden Lions. Johnson, good ball movement. Give another assist to Jack Herbal, Arkansas. And let's go ahead and get this sped up. Matthew, the demise of Judge Takakura means the world has lost a veritable talent. He was indeed an excellent judge, Dick. His death is a tragedy. Actually, I was referring to the fact that Judge Takakura was a tremendous amateur violinist, much like myself. Modest as ever, Dick. Anyway, what have you found? The results of my autopsy confirmed that Judge Takakura was beaten to death. I studied his wounds closely, and I can tell you that you should be on the lookout for a blunt object. What's more, I found traces of ash on the body, the kind produced by smoking tobacco. But after examining Judge Takakura's lungs, I could confirm they were in pristine condition. He clearly never smoked. So that means we're looking for a killer who smokes. Well, unfortunately for them, their future will go up in smoke once you cut them, Matthew. Some news coming out of Manoa this week. The Rainbow Warriors has a signing three players. Three players. Matthew, since the past six months have been hard enough with Justin Lawson enforcing martial law in the name of justice. Now Judge Takakura has been murdered. It seems only yesterday that he was presiding over Charlie's and my Charlie's and my wedding. And now he'll never see the birth of our beautiful baby. But you're right. I must focus. Somebody committed this crime and we need to hold them accountable. It was quite a surprise to learn that Oscar Trapusis now is next door to Takakura, but by his account, their relations were cordial. We also had the misfortune of meeting Inspector Jobert, a member of the Justice Corps, Watson Security Force. He said he was planning on informing Watson of Takakura. Senior Trooper Matthew, I demand to speak with you. Wow. Just a while ago, Lawson was on our side. Now he doesn't seem to be on anybody's side now. But we'll see you for Chapter 2. Ooh. Ooh. Hello, folks. We're back, and it's now time to start Chapter 2 of the new truth. Yeah, they have been very, very effective. They're going to the monitor based on their dyslexia. There we go. This is where we left off on. Senior Trooper Matthew, I demand to speak with you. Mayor Lawson, we didn't expect to see you. Inspector Jobert has just informed me of Judge Takakura's murder. Do you have a suspect in custody? Not yet, Mayor Watt. Then what are you standing around here for? The culprit must be brought to justice without delay. And given the unusual circumstances, I shall preside over the killer's trial myself. I expect to have them in court by the end of the day. Now get back to work. Matthew, this is the first time we've seen Lawson since he became mayor. He usually deals with the chief directly. The last thing we need, needed was to attract his attention. 
But you're right, we cannot get sidetracked by this, and we're better to continue our investigations than Takakura's place of work. Let's go. Interesting when you look at the, the amount of time guys have been on the floor. Who was the Ranger Franklin? Who was coming back from that knee injury and everything else? That's played the most tonight. So that tells you what they think of him and his value in 34 minutes. But also, a reminder that the dinner I had is kind of making me a little tired. Just some of the minutes, maybe. This place has become so eerie since the regime changed, Matthew. Quick, let's have a look at what you found so we can get out of here. This board reads, Court and Session, Presiding Judge S. Takakura. But the name of the clerk who works with Takakura is faded. Can you decipher it now? And if you think that torn fabric could shed some light on our investigation, then let's put it back together. I'm going to do everything right now. See, trying to swipe and have a ball on the continuous shot up top. They've got a little bottom here, so that goes to the free throw line. He's had a pretty solid night. 21 points, maybe 22. I'm second to 14, shooting from the field, also three main triples. To go along with four regards. You're right, this is all There's a message in Japanese, so it might have belonged to Takakura. I can't speak a word of Japanese, though. Let's hope Betty can translate it for us. Twelve hours. 
And I'm going to start that now. I'm going to make sure that I have all stars collected. Oh. Yep, Samuel. So the clerk who worked with Takakura was an F. Samuel. Okay. Well, we have better access, Miss Samuels, about her work with Judge Takakura, Matthew. Now let's see what Flora Samuels has to say. Miss Samuels, we're here to ask you a few questions about Judge Takakura. We presume you're aware that he's been murdered? Yes, it's so strange to think that I saw him at work just earlier today, and tomorrow news of his murder will be on the front page of the new truth. Can you tell us a little bit about your relationship with him? Well, Judge Takakura was a little eccentric, but he was a wise man with a brilliant legal mind. He'd always tell me fascinating stories of his old cases while I was on my cigarette break. But now I'll have to work with some other judge. I doubt they'll even have half they'll even they'll have even half the legal prowess of Judge Takakura. See, of all the people you were hoping that this would not, that wouldn't be the, that wouldn't be murdered, Sakakura was definitely one that I did not want, did not want to see any happen. But I'll see you guys when this embroidered message is over. Okay, we have returned, and let's get the results of the embroidered message right now. Hello, Evie. What can you tell us about that adorable Japanese embroidery Matthew sent you? Did it belong to Takakura? Uh, it's less adorable than it might seem, Maddie. Though it was a sort of dubious gift given to Takakura. You see, once translated, it reads, I waited long enough for you, Satoshi. I'm not waiting anymore. And it was signed by a woman called Yuri. Yuri, the friend of Takakura's whom we met earlier? Matthew, just what could she have been reproaching Takakura for? Only one way to find out. Let's speak with Miss Ishida again. Keep your family on. Where do you sit on the girl? I'm going to miss this show. Where's Cassie? Maybe. I'm in kind of a hurry. How'd you get good? Where did you find that? At an internet cafe where we're going to use favorite website. You know Cassie's place is. There must be some kind of stuff. Someone shot Cassie's phone. Mr. Jackson. Mr. Jackson. <clears throat> Miss Ishida, can you explain the embroider this embroidery you gave to Judge Takakura? What had you been waiting for? For Satoshi to propose to me, of course. I waited 40 years for that fool to ask for my hand in marriage. I see. And what made you think that he was sweet on you? Please. I was a stunner when I was younger. Men all over Concordia were lining up to plight their troth to me, and Satoshi was one of them. I set my heart on him, and I waited. I thought it was only a matter of time before he proposed. But he let me waste my whole life waiting for something that never happened. 
How will I ever get a man down the aisle at my age? I'll have to take out an advertisement in the new troop. She's clear for now. Matthew, perhaps my own marriage is making me sentimental, but I almost feel sorry for Mrs. Suda, despite her quirks. Thank goodness Charlie and I have each other, and soon there will be three of us. But I digress. So far, Mrs. Ishida is the only person to admit to holding a grudge against Takakura. But we're going to need more leads if we're to get to the bottom of Takakura's murder. We should return to his home. I quite agree. Patch. This program contains material that may not be acceptable for the Your discretion is advised. To the criminal justice system, sexually based offenses are considered especially heinous. In New York City, the dedicated detectives who investigate broken violin. These are their stories. Bloody tie. Matthew, look at this tie. It's covered in blood. Wait a moment, you're right. This tie looks like the one Takakura used to wear, and when we found his body, it wasn't on him. And Takakura's house is right by the street where he was murdered. The killer must have dropped the tie here. Let's get it to Viola at once, Matthew. And is that a broken violin? It's true Dick mentioned that Takakura liked to play. But who could have broken it? Vacuuming up some of those brown chunks might clue us in as to who did this, Matthew. As for that mound of earth, if you really think a clue might be hiding in it, then be my guest. Broken violin first. Got it. 
any luck, putting these chunks under the microscope will shed some light on who broke Takakura's violin, Matthew. Do you need the most trusted battery this holiday? Maybe not. Maybe you can trust the world would be just as happy without them. Or you can just trust yourself. Alright. Your new network may not be a security threat. Even if your Wi Fi router is password protected, cyber criminals can get your network through connected devices and steal your personal and financial information. Introducing your new network, a secure Wi Fi router, or monitors your connected devices and helps quarantine any threats. What you can do is secure Wi Fi router, spell you want, after adding your free next day shit and become a great buy for it. No. Beef and stout pie. That's all the Trafilio said. <coughs> so those brown shots you collected from Takakura's broken violin come from a beef and stout pie. And you're right, when we spoke to Oscar Trafusis earlier, he cut our conversation short because he had a beef and stout pie waiting for him. That means it was Mr. Trafusis who broke Takakura's violin. So much for them being firm friends, Matthew. Let us speak with him again. <coughs> Mr. Trefusis, we know you broke Judge Takakura's violin. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, if you're expecting an apology, you'll be waiting a long time. I bought this house in order to enjoy the delightful south-facing garden, so imagine my horror when, as I was enjoying a cigar on the patio, I heard screeching coming from the garden next door. I peered over the fence and there was that judge with his bloody violin. I went over to ask the chap to stop and he point blank refused, said I had no appreciation of the fine arts. But I appreciate the sound of silence, Senior Trooper Matthew. So I took the violin and I broke it. You'll be appreciating the silence of a prison cell if we learn that you did more than just break Takakura's violin, Mr. Trefusis. there is a note in that mound of earth. It reads, Takakura, you better pay me or else. Chester H. And it's signed by a Chester H. Matt, we better ask this Chester just what Takakura needed, needed to pay him for. It. Chester Holt. Okay. Do you kiss an old hands by the way? Mr. Holt, <coughs> can you explain this threatening note we found on Judge Takakura's premises? What did he need to pay you for? Oh, that ain't nothing to be concerned about, officers. Mr. Takakura just owed me for the milk I'd been delivering. I know maybe the message were a bit heavy-handed and all, but the book's always late with me payment. I can't afford me stickies or me paper I don't if I don't get paid. We see. Well, unfortunately, you shan't be getting your money, Mr. Holt. Judge Takakura has been murdered. Murdered? Blimey! Well, that ain't got nothing to do with me, I swear.
actually. I just can't put her through any more. See that. you guys when this is over. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're good. Now I got another matter to deal with. See you guys in the tie. Okay, folks, we have returned. Let's get the results of the bloody tie. Of course, I am enjoying some soup while I'm at it, but that's okay. Viola, what did you find out about that tie Matthew sent you? Well, I can confirm that the blood on the tie was indeed Judge Takakura's. Judging by the creases in the material, the killer must have grabbed Takakura by the tie, and then it came off in their hand when he collapsed. <clears throat> but grabbing it was their downfall. You see, I found a high concentration of an opium derivative on the tie. The kind used in a tincture designed to help people fall asleep. It must have been on your killer's hands when they grabbed the tie. So our killer takes a sleeping drought. They had better not fall asleep with you on their trail, Matthew. Matthew, we're still no closer to finding out who brutally murdered Judge Takakura. Mr. Trefusis, the victim's neighbor, resented him for playing the violin in his garden, disturbing his peace and quiet. While Miss Ishida believes Takakura to have ruined her chances of ever getting married after waiting decades for him to propose. And not only do we have loss and security force, the Justice Corps, watching our every move, we also have Justin Lawson himself breathing down our necks. Under his new regime, which ruthlessly enforces justice, Making even one false step while investigating the murder of a high-profile judge could cost us dearly. Matthew, sorry to bother you, but there are reports of a disturbance at the courthouse. Wow. We'll find out what that disturbance is in Chapter 3. Stay tuned. Let's, let's start chapter 3 now with the new truth. Welcome back, folks. We did find out that there's a disturbance at the courthouse, according to Ramirez. But there are reports of a disturbance at the courthouse. At the courthouse? Matthew, we had better head there at once. I'm entitled to everything of Satoshi's. Now hand over that gavel. This is court property. You can't just take it. You impudent child. I gave my life to that man. I deserve everything he had. That doesn't stand up in the eyes of the law. Just what is going on here? Ask the crazy old lady, Senior Trooper Matthew. She stormed in here and started grabbing Judge Takakura's belongings. He never gave me his last name when he was while he was alive, so I'll take what I can now that he's dead. Who would have imagined that somebody would act, could actually stand the man? Are you saying you couldn't stand Judge Takakura, Miss Samuels? Once we've escorted Mrs. Shida off the property, we'll be having a word with you. She had to say about Takakura. Miss Samuels, you spoke well of Judge Takakura earlier, but just now you claim nobody could stand him. Fine, I wasn't entirely honest earlier. Judge Takakura was a nightmare to work with. Why do you say that, Miss Samuels? Because he was a crotchety old man. Judge Takakura was forever grumbling about something or another. 
And nothing I did was ever good enough to make him happy. I take pride in my work, Senior Trooper Matthew, but he made that impossible. I had to start taking a sleeping drought to deal with the stress. Well, let's just hope that's all you resorted to, Miss Samuels. And while we're here, we'll need to take another look around the courthouse. So that's a black mark against uh, Florence. As I said in the last chapter, I am enjoying some soup. Or newspaper, that's a clue. Figure that was another clue, the blue band. Point person code round. Matthew, look at this armband. It bears Takakura's name. We never saw Takakura wear an armband like this, though. Perhaps deciphering these symbols will shed some light on what it was for. After that torn newspaper, I'll let you piece it back together. Matthew, this is a dark time for Concordia, but we must do whatever is in our power to rectify the situation. Starting with finding out who killed Judge Takakura. As <laughs> mentioned, I am eating some soup, chicken noodle soup to be precise. copy of Lawson's newspaper, The New Truth, but the front page is partly faded. I know that shan't deter you though, Matthew. I'll grab your dozen kiss so you can recover the writing. Okay, faded newspaper now.
Delivered your milk. Oh my god, is that the guy from before? There we are. No, it is only three, but that's okay. Matthew, this headline reads, Beware, convict released. Do you know who delivers your milk? And that's a picture of Chester Holt, Takakura's milkman. According to this article, Mr. Holt was recently released from prison after serving 10 years for a violent robbery. And it was none other than Judge Takakura who put him there. <clears throat> Mr. Holt conveniently neglected to mention his past with Takakura, but I'd wager he still holds a grudge. Let's ask him. Let's see what that guy has to say. Mr. Holt, you failed to mention the fact that Judge Takakura put you behind bars when we spoke to you earlier. You must have had quite a grudge against him. I should have known you'd find out about that, Senior Trooper Matthew. It's just that times are hard for anyone who ain't got a squeaky clean pass. I'm a changed man, but nobody will ever believe it. I had me mug on the front page of the news as soon as I were released. It happens to all us convicts, so we can't hide our past. I've been so scared about how I was going to pay me bills. I had to take a sleeping drought just to get any shot eye. I was lucky to even get a job delivering the milk, Senior Trooper Matthew. And do you expect us to believe it was a coincidence that you were delivering milk to the very judge who sent you to prison? Believe it or not, it's the truth. Judge Takakura were only doing his job. I don't blame him for- We hope you're telling the truth about not murdering- Judge Takakura, Mr. Holt. Else your time as a free man will be short-lived. My guess is that- My guess is that Chester Holt is the one who killed Sakakura. But we'll see. Checking something. Been dealing with a nosebleed for the past year or so. It's been leaving my spit with a lot of blood in it. But I got it. Thankfully, nothing in there. My spit, anyway. Matthew, hopefully, those numbers you deciphered from Takakura's armband will allow Ebby to discover just what it was for. Nine hours. Get the results tonight. So for now, this is Matthew. See you then. Alright, folks, we have returned. Let's get the results of the numbers on the armband for Judge Takakura. Matthew, Takakura's armband offered a surprising revelation. Well, don't keep us in suspense, Evie. What is it? The Justice Corps gives armbands like this one to the people they bring in for questioning. So I looked up the numbers in the Justice Corps' public records, and Judge Takakura was taken in for questioning by Inspector Joubert. 
What? Inspector Jobert said that Takakura was an asset to the justice system, so why would he bring him in for questioning? You're right, Matthew. There's only one person who can answer that. Let's speak to Inspector Jobert himself. Tuesday. I'm sure the surfers will enjoy that big surf. Lots of waves this week. Thank you, Paul. Sports time now. MG is here. UH men's basketball team back at the Stan Sherrod. That's right. Rainbow Warriors in tussle with their sister school and the most prestigious award in college football. Hand it out this evening. Plus, a Rainbow Warriors football along led this team in an icy battle today. Island Sports at 10 is next. From the smallest cottage to the largest house on the block. Another anchor I've act, another news anchor I've grown to be pretty fond of, and that's my local news station, KITV4. Angie Montemayor is her name. She's the new girl. I presume you're here to report that you found Judge Takakura's killer, Matthew, Senior Trooper Matthew? Not exactly, but we learned you didn't tell us the full truth, Inspector. You said Judge Takakura was an asset to Mayor Lawson's regime, yet you took him in for questioning. How did you find out about that? There was a reason I didn't tell you anything. I wasn't about to let the general public know that a respected judge was suspected of conspiring against Mayor Lawson. Judge Takakuro was working against the regime? I was almost certain of it, but I couldn't make him crack. I let him locked in a tiny cell for hours while I smoked cigarette after cigarette. I even threatened to expose his family as traitors in the net in the new truth. But he wouldn't say a word, so I was forced to let him go. I didn't get a wink of sleep that night. Taking my sleeping drought didn't even help. You couldn't charge Judge Takakura with a crime? So you murdered him instead, is that it? Don't be ridiculous, Senior Trooper Matthew. I wanted to see him rotting in prison, not dead. No, this computer is a little slow. Matthew, Justin Lawson's br breathing down our necks to solve Takakura's murder. But the head of the Justice Corps believes Takakura might have opposed Lawson. Meanwhile, Mr. Hulk claims he didn't resent Takakura for sending him to prison. But can that be true given that life as a former convict is so hard under this new regime? You're right. The evidence will speak for itself, Matthew. We must return to the scene of the murder. Really wish that this thing would just hurry up. Unfortunately, this computer is pretty slow. I'm proud to announce that this year's Heisman Trophy winner is Baker Mayfield of the University of Colorado. It's been a dream come true. It's a pleasure to meet Go. Go. 
Trash can. Perfect. I'm sorry, Matthew. Being pregnant makes me feel nauseous enough. So you're on your own if you want to look at that trash can. But what's that bottle you picked up? Oh, it's a sleeping drought. We know that's what our killer takes in order to sleep easy at night. They must have dropped it here at the crime scene. Collecting a sample of that substance on it should shed some light on their identity. Matthew, I can sense we're inching ever closer to Takakura's killer. Let's bust this case wide open. found in the trash. It's soaked in blood. Could this be what the killer used to beat Takakura to death? Only Viola will be able to tell us for sure. Let's send the hammer to her. Sleeping trout out of the way. Get the substance you collected from the killer sleeping drought to Viola at once, Matthew. Alright. Nine hours also, and I will let this uh, I will let these two on their courses. So for now, this is Matthew. See you then. Okay, we have returned, have all the stars collected as you can see. Now we're going to get the results of this stuff and put a killer behind bars to kill Judge Takakura.
Matthew, I derived a pertinent life lesson from the substance that you collected from the killer's sleeping drought. Even in these dark times, with loss and ruling with an iron fist, we cannot let anyone dull our shine. That's an optimistic but unusual conclusion to get from a lab sample, Viola. Can you explain? Well, it's simple. The substance was a combination of one part sodium carbonate to three parts white vinegar, which removes silver sulfide. sulfide. In other words, a mixture used by our killer to restore shine to, to a silver accessory. So our killer is sporting a silver accessory, Matthew. They'll soon be swapping it for a pair of irons. Matthew, first things first, I can confirm on the, that the blood on the hammer was indeed Takakuras. So that means this hammer is our murder weapon, Matthew. Yes. And what's more, I found traces of a glycerol solution containing the chemical compound Alan, Allantoin on the hammer. Due to its soothing anti-irritation properties, Allantoin is commonly used in skin care particularly that for sensitive, freckled skin. Matthew, you're looking for a killer who has freckles. Well, our freckled killer shall have plenty of time for their skincare regime in prison. We're closing in on them, Matthew. Matthew, of all the things which have happened over the past six months, this is finally one wrong thing which we can write. Let's arrest Judge Takakura's killer. Let's find out who it is. It's not... Okay, let's see... Nope, not Yuri Ishida. Oh, wait, let me take a look at the other one. Nope, it's not Chester Holt. It is not what I thought it was. Yep, it is Florence Samuels, the clerk. Miss Samuels, you're under arrest for the murder of Judge Takakura. We know he was a difficult boss, but did you really kill him for that? You've got it all wrong, Senior Trooper Matthew. Judge Takakura and I might have had our differences, but I didn't kill him. And yet, we found your, your subscription keychain from the New Truth next to the body. This is nonsense. Most of Concordia reads the New Truth. It's the only newspaper there is. Yet you are the only one who left trace, traces of your freckle cream on the hammer you used to beat Judge Takakura to death. This is all conjecture, Senior Trooper Matthew. Do you really believe me to be capable of something so brutal? We don't just believe it, we have the evidence to prove it. We found a tie you took from Takakura's body and threw it in his garden. And threw it in his garden. It... It landed in his garden? I just threw it over the nearest fence as I ran away. Fine, I killed him, and I don't regret it for a second. He dared to disrespect a magnificent leader, Mayor Lawson. 
You killed Judge Takakura just because he didn't like Mayor Lawson? Justin Lawson is my idol. He's a strong, principled man who has dedicated his life to making Concordia better for us all. I attended one of his speeches several months ago, and he was so handsome, so righteous. I knew right then that it was true love. But then Judge Takakura dared to insult Mayor Lawson behind his back. He said our wonderful leader was a monster who lacked mercy. I immediately reported Judge Takakura to the Justice Court, but when they let him go, I knew I had to take matters into my own hands. So I lay in, so I lay in wait on his way home from work, and I attacked him. I kept hitting him until he stopped moving. Judge Takakura deserved to die for what he did, Senior Trooper Matthew. He wasn't half the man Justin Lawson is, and I know that Mayor Lawson himself would thank me for what I did. Well, you're about to have the chance to explain your actions to Mayor Lawson himself. Miss Samuels, you're under arrest. Miss Samuels, you stand accused of... <laughs> Mayor Lawson, I, I can't believe I'm meeting you at last. Please do not interrupt unless you are spoken to, Miss Samuels. Now, you stand accused of murdering Judge Takakura. How do you please? Guilty, Mayor Lawson, but I did it for you. Judge Takakura insulted your personal integrity, and he had to pay for it. You would declare your heinous act a gift to me? Whatever misguided notion of love you've got in your, into your head, I do not wish to hear about it. Should Judge Takakura have been plotting against the regime, then he would have been dealt with by the justice system. But you assassinated a renowned judge in my name. And for this atrocious crime, you deserve more than a normal custodial sentence. Instead, this court hereby sentences you to death by beheading in the square tomorrow at noon. Wow. I... Beheading? But we haven't done that at Concordia for half a century. Matthew, did we just hear Justin Lawson sentence someone to somebody to death? We know Lawson's regime has been has become extreme over the past six months, but beheading whomever he likes? Concordia abolished the death penalty 50 years ago. You're right. We've tried to toe, toe the line until now, and Judge Takakura's murder is a grievous crime indeed. But sentencing people to death on a whim is beyond the pale. Matthew, we must prevent this death sentence from being carried out. Final judgment. Now silver accessory for Chester Holtz. Inspector Gilbert, no freckled skin. Oscar Trefusis cleared early. Yuri Yoshida cleared from the start. It's Florence Samuels. I'll see you guys for final judgment one. <clears throat> okay, let's start our final judgment one six of the new truth. Matthew, six months of Lawson's rule have been a trial for us all, but this latest development has, sh has shaken me to, a, to the core. What was Lawson thinking sentencing Judge Takakura's killer to death by beheading? Capital punishment was abolished in Concordia 15 years ago. Up until now, my priority has been making sure Lawson allows the fly squad to remain operational in order to protect the people of Concordia. 
but it is now clear that we cannot do that by simply staying on Lawson's good side. We can't let him behead people on a whim. Here, here, Chief. We must prevent the beheading, but we're going to need help. I, for one, have no idea where to start. Good idea, Matthew. Diego is an expert in getting out of tricky situations. Let's speak with him at once. Matthew, before you go, Catherine also requires a word with you. She's waiting for you in my library. She says it's urgent. Well, what do you want to do first, Matthew? Speak to Diego or see what Catherine wants. Decide quickly. Julie is living with metastatic breast cancer, which is breast cancer that is spread to other parts of her body. She's also taking prescription eyebrows with an aromatase inhibitor, which is for postmenopausal women with hormone receptor positive or two negative metastatic breast cancer as the first hormonal based therapy. So let's talk to Diego first, since he's listed on here first in the tablet. Diego, I'm sure you've heard that loss in a sentence Takakura's killer helped stop him from going through with it. Well, one thing is clear, Matthew. Lawson is not the type of person to change his mind, so you can forget any options involving a negotiation. If we're going to prevent this beheading from taking place, there's only one way to do it. We need to break Takakura's killer out of prison. A prison break? But we're the ones who put people in prison. We don't break them out. You're right, Matthew. If we leave Miss Samuels in prison, she'll certainly be executed. We don't have any other choice. But we're definitely not letting her go free once we've broken her out. We shall have to figure out what to do with her later. Exactly. But if this plan is going to be a success, we shall need to know the layout of that prison like the back of our hands. I wager we might be able to find a map of some kind at the courthouse. I'll accompany you there, Matthew. Well, I suppose it was too much to hope that the prison blueprint might be just might just be lying around somewhere, Matthew. Let's open that safe if you think it might be in there. The dedicated detectives who investigate suspicious families are members of an elite squad known as the Special Victims Unit. These are their stories. Casey has a stuff as well. Including a new one, precious yellow on heavy glass, really good color and textures. Alright. She doesn't have to produce every case. Oh, more uh, symbols. I saw someone buy a tea ceramics. Nine. Nine, seven, nine, seven, nine. Okay. Nine four nine seven nine and one more. Seven seven three. Four. 
four, nine, seven energy total. Aha! I knew your instincts would pay off, Matthew. The blueprint in that safe is precisely what we need. I have to say, this is the most fun I've had in ages. It's not often that I get to break a prisoner out of jail. Sorry, Matthew, I know this is serious. Leave the prison blueprint with me for a few hours, and I'll have a plan drawn up to break Miss Samuel down before you know it. I thought long and hard about what I'm about to say, but given that you're not willing to let Lawson go through with this heinous plan, I believe you deserve to know. I'm part of a resistance movement working to bring down Justin Lawson. So there really is a resistance movement trying to bring down Lawson. Why didn't you tell us before? Well, Evie knew. But I swore her to secrecy, so please don't blame her for not telling you. But what's more important is that Judge Takakura was also in the resistance. So Inspector Javert's suspicions were correct. Takakura was working against Lawson. Indeed. And Judge Takakura had a telegraph machine in his possession at the time of his death containing data which could compromise dozens of people if it fell into the wrong hands. If it can recover that telegraph machine from Takakura's house, the resistance will happily cover your costs, Matthew. We'd be happy to help, with or without the money, Catherine. Matthew, let us return to Takakura's home. This new victim wasn't sexually assaulted, and he used more glue to seal a rectum. Took an acetone lavage just to get the stove dry. I'm right. sure she wasn't ready first. Funkin. Okay. It's just been Then find him fast. If he's going this way, it's next. Casey Chapman, she's a 28 year old white female. She lives in an artist loft near Strider's Row. April Silva, 25 year old Matthew, if it were anyone else, I wonder why you think you might find a telegraph machine with that pile of pumpkins. But knowing Takakura, he might very well have hidden it there. Well, I'm dubious, but it's the only lead we've got. Let's look for these vegetables. As with Casey Chapman, the plans was not sexually assaulted, but they found Bruno. Hard to believe we are almost done with the, the mysteries of the past. The first need to be based in the millions consistent with the rich and not. If this is the same hunk, why are we just hearing about your cases now? To be well put together. The first victim was bound with the one with butts. The second one with scars. The third one with rope and rope. The funny thing, we're not ready to know if you're a vodka. I don't think cases came here. 
I lost you all since. Glory. That's the way I'm going. That's the way I'm going. Really, good morning. I'll have the information on you. I've been making this case for six months. I've been doing what I'm doing. Whoa, I'll be darned, Matthew. You did find the telegraph machine among yeah, those pumpkins. You believe we should send the machine to Charlie to ensure it really is the one which Catherine was talking about? Well, I shan't pass up a chance to see my beloved. You just got promoted, and your first order is Chief of Detectives. He's the only one in the This is no reflection on your squad as the best of you. Six hours? I'll see you guys. These are. This is done. I might speed this up, but we'll see. We'll find out. See y'all later for now. Okay, we have returned. Let's get the results of the telegraph machine. Madeline, my darling wife, how are you feeling? Well, the baby has been kicking non-stop, but I haven't had two minutes to sit down. What with everything going on? Speaking of which, is that telegraph machine the one Catherine told us about? The one that belongs to the resistance? Yes, Judge Takakura definitely used the machine to contact Catherine in the past. I can't believe they were both in the resistance without us knowing. I expect they didn't want to get us into trouble. After all, working against Lawson's regime is dangerous business. Yes, and it's a wonder they weren't caught. They're still using such vulnerable technology when, when there's an alternative available. What do you mean, dear? A secure telephone line. As the owner of, Concord, of the Concordia Telephone Company, I could set up a private telephone exchange for the resistance and nobody would be any the wiser. Matthew, I'd like to accompany you when you return the telegraph machine to Catherine and suggest this idea. And so you shall. Matthew, pray tell you managed to recover the resistance telegraph telegraph machine before the regime could get their hands on it. We did. And I have a proposition which would allow you to communicate more securely in the future. You see, I can set up a telephone exchange for the resistance which will be completely private. You mean no more paper trace with the resistance's activities? That would be wonderful, Charlie. Honestly, I don't know how to repay you in math, but I'll think of some way to show my gratitude. You can count on it. In the meantime, in memory of Judge Takakura, I want you to take this. Cool. In the meantime, I'll be speeding this up for three. Because this will be just on the tail end, even though I don't have anything tomorrow. Matthew, I don't wish to brag, but I've come up with a foolproof plan for you and Rose to break Miss Samuels out of prison. You see, you're going to wait until the guards on the perimeter change shift at five minutes past the hour. Then you'll scale the fire escape located at the rear of the building and enter through the air vents. Before descending into corridor A and taking a left, which should take you to right outside Miss Samuel's cell. You just need to get the chief's seal of approval. Let's inform him of the plan. Chief Wright. Chief, we've devised a plan to break Tucker's killer out of jail. It... Don't tell me the details. I need plausible deniability if Lawson ever asked me about this. But I trust that you have everything under control. I just have one question. What do you intend to do with Miss Samuels once you've rescued her? 
I must confess, I haven't given it any thought. Well, I have, and it is quite clear that, while she must serve a sentence, she will not be safe from Lawson if we keep her here in Concordia. I believe we should send Miss Samuels to the Redcliffe Penal Colony in Australia, where she will serve a custodial sentence and carry out manual labor. So that means you'll have to escort Miss Samuel straight to the docks once you've broken her out, Matthew. The plan is all coming together. And remember, you need to hurry. Ah. Yes, sir. Now all you need is to find a prison guard uniform so you can blend in, Matthew. Let's grab a snack and head back to the courtroom. Wait just a sec, folks. That's the one. That's the one part I forgot about. And remember, you need to hurry and be as discreet as you can. If you get caught, Matthew, it's all our necks on the line. I think I see that outfit. The uniform. Well, that's a uniform, all right, but how do we know if it's the right one to get you into the prison where Miss Samuels is being held? Right, you can compare the logo to our archives. That'll tell us whether we've got the right uniform or not. First one. Oh, there we go. Prison guard uniform. This is it, Matthew. This is the uniform for the courthouse jail where Miss Samuels is imprisoned. Now that we've got this, we better inform the others of our plan, or we can leave shortly. Matthew, thank you for helping Catherine out earlier. I'm sorry I couldn't tell you about the resistance. I do hope you're not angry at me. No, we've been too busy preparing to break Miss Samuels out of prison so that Lawson can't have her beheaded. Matthew, I hear you and Diego prepare quite a daring plan. You've got the prison blueprint and the uniform you're going to wear. I just hope it works, because if Lawson's people catch you, it's the end of the fly squad as we know it. Don't worry, Maddie. I wouldn't send Matthew in if I wasn't sure of the plan. I wanted to come along myself, but Rose insisted on taking over. You've done your bit, Diego. Now let me do mine. 
Though I have to say, this guard uniform is a tight fit. And remember to take the lock picking set I gave you, Rose. You'll need it to get into Miss Samuel's cell. Good luck. Yes. Enough talk. Matthew, suit up and let's go. We've got a prison to break into. According to Diego's plan, we should turn left here. And though we'll. Cr Matthew, cell is coming! Quick, into the vent! Phew! Phew! That was close, Matthew, but we made it. Now let's hope Diego's lockpick works on the prisoner's door. Let's break her out. Senior Trooper Matthew, are you here to take me for my execution already? Not exactly. We're here to break you out so you can serve your punishment another way. But Mayor Lawson said I had to die. Look, do you want to be the first person in Concordia to be beheaded since the death penalty was abolished half a century ago? No, of course not. Then enough talking. We need to get going before someone discovers us. Senior Trooper Matthew, I'm so grateful that you risked your life to save me from being executed. We didn't do it for you. We did it because Lawson cannot simply choose to behead people in a fit of anger. Now onto that ship with you before we all get caught. And let's hope that the penal colony in Australia will turn you into a reformed citizen. Matthew, I must commend you and Rose for the bravery you showed today in standing up to Justin Lawson's tyranny. But don't forget Diego's contribution, Chief. He's the one who came up with the plan to break Miss Samuels out of prison. Yes, of course. Matthew Lawson really has gone too far this time, and we... Oh boy, we had to figure this was coming. Senior Trooper Matthew, I demand to speak with you and Arthur right this instant. How dare you defy me, Senior Trooper Matthew? I know what you did, breaking Judge Takakura's murderer out of prison. I... we... Spare me your lies. The only reason I'm not closing the fly squad down right this instant is because of all the work you've done in the name of justice in the past. But believe you me, if you prevent me from dispensing justice as I see fit ever again, Ah, the team disbanded, and all of you thrown in a cell. For now, it's time you learn that actions have consequences, Senior Trooper Matthew. As such, I'm revoking some of the Flying Squad's privileges. Like your right to employ that criminal Diego De Lobo. I know he must have been the one behind this plan. With all due respect, sir, Diego's criminal past is, beh is behind him. Sack Del Lobo immediately and sever all ties with him, or the fly squad gets shut down right this instant, Arthur. Now get out of my sight! Oh gosh. Matthew, I can't quite believe what just happened. If we don't sack Diego, Mayor Lawson is going to shut down the flying squad. I'm well aware of 
I'm well aware of all that Diego has done for us, Matthew, but there's no question of allowing the Fly Squad to be shut down, especially now. I fully understand. We all heard what Lawson said. I'll go, Matthew. What? We can't allow Lawson to order us around like this. It's wholly unjust. Yes, it is, but I don't want to endanger the flying squad in any way. And with my past, it was only a matter of time until Lawson came after me. But what will you do now, Diego? I don't know what I'll do, but don't worry about me. I'll figure something out. Lawson told you to sever all ties with me, and he'll be watching closely. So for your own safety, don't come looking for me, Matthew. But how will we know you're alright? I know how to take care of myself, but you have to take care of each other now. Stay vigilant. Matthew, we knew that Lawson was ruthless in his pursuit of justice, but it appears that even we underestimated him. Sentencing people to a public beheading, then threatening the fly squad with closure if we don't disobey if we don't obey his every demand? Lawson might have the upper hand right now, Matthew. But it's time we started to turn the tables on him. Yes, it is. Take a look at the Sorry. last pet when shop. Is there anything I want? Is there hmm. I wish you could have known him. But he was all here. I want one of these. But you need to help me go through your pants, you know, stay out and go through my stuff. I bust the buzzer and there was no pants. I'll think about it. Went up the stairs, got into the apartment, walked down the hallway, and she was I should have quit the job. I don't know. It was me. Okay? She said she wanted to December 14th, that's a Thursday. Four minutes. I'm always have to play the tough guy. Tough guy's nothing to do with it. It doesn't make you weak. So it's official, Diego is gone from the squad. That's sad. Ten years. Tell you, Justin Lawson has gone from a reasonable man to an arrogant prick. Another one. Done. I tell the judge.
five new ones there. What can I say? Nobody's made a steal. Turns out neither are you. Three new ones. So we're nearing the end of this. In the criminal justice system, the people are represented by two separate ethically important groups, the police who investigate crime and the district attorneys who prosecute the offenders. These are their stories. Well, this is going to do. I'll see you all later.